Alright, hey guys, what's up? This is Sports Talk 123. And today we're going to be talking about the situation going on with the Ohio State football program. Uh, if you're not familiar with the situation, uh, in 2010, eight of Ohio State's players, uh, some of them superstars, including uh, Dan Heron and Terrell Pryor, uh, were caught in a scandal where they were taking, they were accepting a, a, a total of $14,000 in cash and tattoos in exchange for their game used jerseys their uh, bowl rings and other uh, Ohio State memorabilia and uh, Jim Tressel was a uh, he found out about the uh, scandal but he failed to tell anybody about it and uh, that's kinda where all the problems started uh, now the university took it upon themselves to uh, vacate the 2010 vacate the 2010 season including their bowl win uh, return all their money from that bowl and uh, they gave themselves two years of probation and five fewer scholarships over the next three years. But uh, with the bans today, obviously the NCAA did not think that was good enough. As today, the NCAA countered with a bowl ban in 2012, which is a very harsh penalty because, I mean, that, that's going to affect recruiting and a lot of things. Uh, and they took away even more scholarships, uh, plus the ones that Ohio State already take, took away. The NCAA is taking away even more, and the NCAA, NCAA is giving them one more year of probation. Now, this is kind of big news because Ohio State, one, is getting a new head coach, which is going to affect recruiting. Uh, since their new head coach is Urban Meyer, it'll probably affect recruiting in a good way more than a bad way. But, uh, you know, some people, not maybe not everybody likes Urban Meyer. You don't know how he is up in that area. I, I'm pretty sure he's from there, but uh, I don't know. It, it could affect it a little bit. And now, with all these extra, um, all these extra bans that Ohio State is receiving from the NCAA, it's going to be even harder to recruit in what looks like it's going to be a competitive Big Ten in the future uh, with teams like Nebraska joining and making the conference even better. So who knows? Who knows what the future of Ohio State is going to look like now? I think it's going to be uh, just a big mess, uh, very similar. Uh, it's the situation at USC. USC seems like they dealt with it fine. They have a good football team now. And uh, also, um, you know, the stiff, the stiffer penalties uh, on ESPN. There's an article talking about it, and it just it's like talking about how like the stiffer penalties, including finding a failure to monitor of Ohio, Ohio of Ohio State's athletic programs, came because of additional problems which followed the tattoo related related violations a year ago almost to the day so uh, maybe this isn't all just coming from that one incident with eight players taking the tattoos and things but uh, just Ohio State hasn't cleaned up their program they needed a wake-up call and I think this is pretty much their warning uh, they do anything else maybe they'll get another bowl ban and the penalties are just gonna keep getting worse and worse and uh, they definitely need to turn their program around hopefully Urban, Urban, Meyer, Urban Meyer hopefully will be the guy to do it because I mean that's a historic program and stuff and you don't want bad stuff like that to happen to schools like that because those are schools that college football needs and co all of college sports needs because they're a big basketball school too. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks a lot. See you.